Welcome to History and Apparatus. This episode will be about the relationship of the Minoans with the Stonehenge. In our previous episode, the Minoan Eclipse Calculator was introduced. But if you are not familiar with the Minoan Eclipse Calculator, please pause this video and watch it, as it will explain in depth this remarkable device, and also help you understand better today's subject. Now let's proceed to unravel this remarkable discovery. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument in Wiltshire, England, two miles west of Amesbury that consists of several concentric circles and semicircles with stones, earthen ditches, and mounds. The tallest structure consists of larger vertical blocks, four meters each, connected at the top by a massive lintel, forming the known five trilithus at the center of Stonehenge. Inside the Ilithites there are 19 petal-shaped stones called the Blue Petal, and near the center of the petal lies a carved 4.8 meter long, gray-blue sandstone called the Altar Stone. Around the five triliths there is a circle of 59 smaller blue stones, called the Blue Stone Circle, which they were carved and transported from Welsh quarries, about 200 kilometers away from Stonehenge. Outside of the Blue Stone Circle, there is the Sarsen Circle, consisting of 30 ortholiths, joined by convex lintels, of which 19 have been preserved. Around the Sarsen circle there are two more circle called Z, and Y, with 29 and 30 holes respectively. The 110 meter outer circle, which encompasses all of Stonehenge, consists of 57 holes and is called the Aubrey Holes Circle. Dating of the stones is measured by scientists to be about 2000 to 100 BC. There are four parts that indicate a relationship between the Minoans with the Stonehenge. These are Astronomical Structural similarities Historical references And finally symbols carved on the Stonehenge stones. The Stonehenge was created in a large circle that was drawn in the earth with ditches and mounds having an avenue leading to the entrance that contains a big stone called the Heel Stone. There were also four other stones in the central circle that form a rectangle, and are probably linked to certain moon cycles. That is indicative of its link to astronomy. With further evidence the discovery in the 18th century by a historian, who noticed that the central axis of the monument points towards the location of the horizon where the sun rises on the summer solstice. That means if you stood in the center of the monument and looked towards the heel stone, you will be able to see the sunrise the on the 21st of June which is exactly like the Minoan Eclipse Calculator. Moreover, according to Dr. Itzakritsis there are further evidence that correlate the Minoan Eclipse Calculator with the Stonehenge. The physical evidence come from the arrangement of Stonehenge itself, if we place the fingerprint of the Minoan Eclipse Calculator on top of the Stonehenge sketch, and align the symmetry to the Stonehenge summer solstice to be the same with the Minoan Eclipse Calculator, as we mentioned earlier then we also noticed the following. As we can observe in the Minoan Eclipse Calculator, the engraving numbers 14 and 15 above, 16 and 14 below existing in each of the four quadrants as separated by the vertical axes, are identical with the circles Z and Y with 29 and 30 stones of Stonehenge, and in general, the number of engravings, 29 and 30, in the inner circle of Minoan Eclipse Calculator are related to the number of holes in the two circles Z, and Y, of Stonehenge. The number of these holes or engravings correspond to a lunar month of 29.5 days. In addition, the crowd of 59 Minoan Eclipse Calculator engravings can also be identified with the circle of 59 smaller blue stones, called the Blue Stone Circle around Stonehenge's five trilithus, as well as the outer end circle that surrounds Stonehenge, with the 57 holes called the Aubrey Hole Circle, can be matched with the outer circle of the Minoan Eclipse Calculator which also has 58 holes. Finally the 19 petal shaped stones in the Stonehenge trio, called the Petal of Galazopters, have the same number with the crowd that is present in the Minoan Eclipse Calculator disc in the form of 19 small holes. As we can observe here, observing the similarities Dr. Tsikritsis suggests it's probable Stonehenge was used as an eclipse calculator. The construction of Stonehenge in the Middle Ages was attributed to the ancient Celts and their Druids teachers, 
However, excavations in the area do not lead to this theory. Since this construction dates back to the second millennium BC and predates those civilizations. In the Bronze Age the well-known civilizations that could be associated with Stonehenge's construction would be Mesopotamian, Egyptian, the Mycenaeans and the Minoan civilization. However, the Babylonian churches were rectangular and the ziggurats always had a square base. The Sumerians did not build stone or construct circular buildings, so those who designed and erected Stonehenge could not be Sumerians nor Babylonians. Furthermore the Egyptian temples were square. The various pyramids and obelisk backgrounds were square in shape and not circular. The only civilizations with circular constructions appear in the Minoans and the Mycenaeans. Typically, the Mycenaean burial cycle is a sample of the 16th century construction for example the burial pits, surrounded by a circle of stones, evolved into circular graves buried under a conical tomb. These constructions cannot be related to Stonehenge, which is not a burial monument, but possibly an astronomical observatory. Circular buildings that are not burial constructions appear only in the so-called Minos Ring. In this ring we see a circular structure at the top of a hill, surrounded by ortholiths. A similar icon with a circular sacred structure is also depicted in the Mycenaean ring from the chamber tomb 91 of the 15th century. Another structural similarity is the connection of the joins from the Stonehenge, are made with puzzler-shaped connections, between the ortholith and the lintel, and this is a known technique used on the Greek pillars with the Minoans using this technique on their buildings as well. Also the fact that Stonehenge have a level top, even on uneven ground, which is an advanced engineering technique, is also seen in Minoan constructions. Further evidence for the connection between the Minoans with Stonehenge, comes from the recent analysis in of bronze artifacts from Eastern Crete, South Turkey, and coastal Israel which was the main trading ground for the Minoans. Confirm that the tin source was Cornwall, in southwest England about 1300 BC, less than one day's sail from Stonehenge of the Avon River. The first stone sculptural symbols at Stonehenge were found by Richard Atkinson in 1953 and identified as knives or swords with dimensions, from 8 to 36 centimeters. A team of Wessex Salisbury experts in 2003 carried out a high-tech survey of the monument, using laser scanning on all Stonehenge stones. On many of the orthalith syllables were found, engraved in linear A script, which has been used in the Mycenaean and Minoan civilization. In this way, for the first time, other sculptures, than the two known swords, were discovered. Similar symbols, were found on the outer face of Sarsen 4 stone, and on the outer surface of stone 3. Especially on stone 3 there are cavities, a shallow rectangle. The significance of these sculptures is debated by archaeologists, and it is probable that incised engravings and swords resembling Mycenaean swords, may have been engraved by those who would construct Stonehenge, those were most likely the Minoans. These syllables, if translated under the glyphic symbols of the linear A, readers, to now which translates, in ancient Greek, stone. Historian Hesiod states, votes no pain. That is distress. He sticks, he puts stones are as some of the translations. The word tana, equals stone, appear three times, and many times the acronym na, reminds us of the logic of the Minoan palaces, meaning the similar engravings of linear A syllables from stone builders and used internationally. These are called tecton marks and they probably stated that the stone processing had been completed and was ready to be transferred from the mine to the place where it should be placed. In many ortholiths the symbol appears morphologically like the column of the temple, that is to say, a column and on top of a sidewalk stone. If we take the etymology we find in the dictionary of George W. Lemon 1783, where he interprets the word stone as stone based on the word chine and henge, and in English the word hang means hanging. The stones, therefore, may also have worked therapeutically in people with difficulty breathing, who, 
coming into contact with the stones in the trilitha, were cured. There are historical evidence that the Minoan civilization should have had contact and communion with the Hyperboreans, northbounds, as the relationship of the Hyperboreans with the Athenians has existed from the ancient times. As Diodorus Siculus states, on Book 2, paragraph 47, there is a magnificent temple, circular in shape, dedicated to Apollo, where his priests, playing guitar, sang hymns, in a dialect near Greek language. Based on the latest dating, the construction of the blue stones and trilithus in Stonehenge dates from about 2200 to 1600 BC. The research and doctoral thesis of I. Valsing in 2017 showed that the Minoan eclipse calculator dates back from 2000 to 100 BC to 1850 BC, which is the same period as the construction of the petal with the blue stones. Here is the whole paragraph of what Diodorus Siculus wrote. Finally, we consider the symbols that have been designated swords to be Minoan scriptural syllables denoting the word stone and temple in addition. Based on the above correlation of Stonehenge with the Minoan eclipse calculator is that Stonehenge is an enlargement of the Minoan astronomical eclipse calculator, which is now proven to be the first computer to measure time and predict lunar eclipses. We can therefore say that its most probable builders were related to Minoan civilization. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and click the notification button for future content.